So uh, here's the pork roast. Try to cut off the worst of the fatty bits. Just kind of like this. Just get the worst ones. If you're lucky, you get a dog. You can give it to the dog. Okay, salt and pepper both sides. Just on that side. Then the other one. All right, here we go. Dry this bad boy up. Lay it on there, yes, Don't want to get any of that on you. About one minute aside. After 45 seconds, I'm going to push it all up against the wall, get the back side, and I'll flip it over. Ow! That hurt. Push this guy. Get the back side all done. Then you can fix that for you. Looks like you can see. Get it away from you? Then you push it in the corner again. And then you do the port side, short side. Usually I take uh, about a tablespoon of each and put it in a, in a mug. But there's only a little bit left in the bottom of this bad boy. I'm going to throw the honey right in there and then we're going to put the frying oil in there. Put this bad boy in here like this, a nice scoop. Very beautiful. Whoop. There we go. Put that in there. This. Oh, that wasn't that much either. And pour that in there. Warms everything up. And then you just mix all that up nice and happy and pour it on top there. Okay, now I'm just going to take this honey mustard and pour it on top of that. the middle and we're going to try to spread it out there. Okay, I got that thing. Now it's in there and mix that part too well. Alright. Then just kind of push it over. You want it to fall down the sides or cover the top. And then we put the thermometer in there. Put the thermometer as we to take this part like this. Then we're going to bake it until it's about 85 degrees Celsius at 300 degrees in the oven. It takes about an hour and a half. And before you throw it in the oven, put about a half a cup of water or something just to put it in the bottom. All right, we're gonna try to baste it. So you take it and tilt it. Make a big fat spoon. Oh, that's it. Too much. This side. That's just kind of pour it over all the spots that start to dry out and you're good then you do this every 15 minutes I'd say you don't need a turkey beaster if you got a turkey beaster it makes it a little easier but this works fine there we go now we throw it in there so that's what she looks like when we pull her out of the oven Gonna take it out of that pan, move it over. I'm gonna start the sauce with the other pan. She said 83 degrees. You might not let her say the 85, but I like 83. Then I'm gonna take that, put it in a small saucepan, and we're gonna reduce it. Okay, now it's cooking up at full boil. I'm just going to stir it up and I'll wait until there's half as much of it as when I started. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, now it's getting down there a little thicker. It's really strong. I'm going to just taste it and put the cream in. Maybe about a cup, half a cup. One to two, yeah. Oh, yeah. Half a cup to one cup. And then See what goes. This is the and then I cook it up and then turn it down. Okay, so she's cooking out. 
Keep stirring it up. Throw it up at a too high heat. It wants to cook over. See? It's ready to go all the way up to the top. So you gotta take it off. Half and half. Sophia's head. If you it's can't fine. find regular green. Half and half will work fine. And you just cook this and so it gets thick enough. You keep tasting it. You'll cry. First time you taste it. It's so good. So, mashed potatoes. Boil them um, cubed or diced because it goes quicker. A nice, healthy, big lump of cheese. Uh, I mean, butter. Whipping cream or heavy cream if you got it. Some. Half and half or if you don't. Half and half. And let that like simmer down between the potatoes and get down to the bottom so that the pot heats it up before you start mixing the stuff. I'm going to add some milk because that was a wee bit too little cream, I think. I'll just add a little. Alright, that's whole milk for you. Um, butter, stomper, anything that could mash them together, basically. And you just sort of edge your way around the, the pot. And it's going to be a bit funny looking at first. Lumps and stuff. And like looking real wet. But the more you mash it, the more the potatoes will suck up all that goodies. Of course, you pour the water up first. Should have said that. And basically, the, the finer you want it, the more you stomp it. And the bigger pieces you want in there, the less you stomp it. And once you're done and let it sit, it's going to get thicker as well. So if you want it creamy and fluffy, add a wee bit more milk than you think you'd like. And then it'll be perfect once you put it on the uh, table. Once you've got it to this state, you might want to try and taste to see if the water gave enough salt to the potatoes. And then a little bit of white pepper. Spice it up a wee bit. And this definitely needs more milk and more butter. So I let it sit and just add it on. Let it push it into the potato so it melts nice and nice. A couple of drops more of milk because that's going to get too dry. Kind of like so. And while that sits there, press out the white round pepper. And I'll just over the edge, over the top. And the secret recipe Grandma taught me to get it really nice and nice. One pinch of sugar. You'd think like, what? But it, it does the trick for you. But only a pinch. And then on with more salt if you need it. And I'll mash the potatoes, that butter and milk in. And if you have salted butter, just remember to taste, not guess, because it can get too salty, too. So you just use the stomper to whip it with at the same time. And whenever you find a hard piece, you just stomp it down. And if you want it really fluffy, no pieces, you bust out your uh, electric whisks and just beat it with it. Then you get really fluffy mashed potatoes. Okay, here we go on like how to cut the meat. Go right there. They're trying to find out which direction everything goes. Fibers. This is which way the fibers go. Everything's going this way. So we'll cut it this way. Then, uh, I like it. Okay, hold on to it. And cut it thin. I go for a half inch. And just cut away this knife. It's not good. But there we go. That's a beautiful piece. I didn't like that. Hold it down. Cut it straight. And, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty.